Hello, one, two. One, two, four, five. One, two. One. Hello, hello, hello. One, oh, two. One, two, four, five. One, two. What do? Why do you sound like a kiwi? I don't know. <laughs> don't gonna be. Next cook. If you, we're here to talk about basically our new mics. Um, what? Didn't say welcome to hating TV. Oh. Right. Hello and welcome to hating TV. With our new mics? One, two, one, two. <laughs> right. You lot moaned about it long enough. Okay, it's been, what, four years. We did get mics and they were crap and broke them. And technology has moved on and hopefully these do the trick. It's going to be a game changer. Hopefully. <laughs> as long as we don't drop them in water and it has taken us three days to and get them to work. to make sure we charge them. Yeah, that helps as well. This should have been up like four. And don't leave them on. Four days ago. Don't leave them on. Yeah, that's another thing we did. <laughs> we had to recharge them, didn't we? Yeah. So we need to hurry this video along because we ain't got much chance like this. <laughs> anyway, you can see we're, we're having a bit of fun already. We have... The two fast tracks. Icons. Two of them. <clears throat> and how are you finding yours? Absolutely phenomenal. Now, we'll get into this more in a minute about them, obviously. Yeah. But what a game changer they are. They are. They, they're, like, we're going to go through yeah. multiple videos of this because it's going to take us yeah. more than one to explain everything that we've learned. Yeah, okay. and now <coughs> this has been needed for years, in my opinion, of what they've got now. Yeah. The JCBs are up there with other brands, with the computer system and the monitors and all that now. But I know, aesthetically, they're the same. Yeah. But inside the cab, which we'll see in a minute, is a lot different. So, yeah, we're going to show you that. But they are looking quite smart. Ads has obviously had all his decals put back on this one. We, got more, we have got more going on, but that'll be in another video. <laughs> what more have you got? Oh, do you not know? No! Oh, the, the rear panels are being done. Oh, fuck. But, yes. So after this video, I've got to strip some rear panels down. They've got to be sent away. <laughs> <laughs> they have. True story. <laughs> 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 As you can see, he's highly patriotic, and I just like to hide my wing mirrors. Basically, it's it's irony if you don't understand why this real tree. It's irony. Got any other decals coming? Gonna gonna have Barbie. Gonna have Sleeping Beauty. Little Mermaid. What else gonna happen? You always got to take it too far, aren't you? Why? All the time. No, I can't bother this. <laughs> Is that a yes? Go. Go away. <laughs> He'll be back in a minute, I promise. He's vanished for a minute, but we, we've got to be a bit more honest with you guys. We need to slightly fess up. We've been hiding and keeping a secret from you for too long. And it's time that we become a little bit more honest, okay? <coughs> we have, we've been hiding this secret for a few weeks and we actually have three, basically. We got three fast racks. Three fast racks. Uno, of course, to their sort. So, if you asked us four years ago, four years ago we got the first ones. Five yeah, years ago, two thousand eighteen. Two thousand eighteen. We didn't think we'd ever have one, and then we got two. We got two at the same time, just because of the way it worked, and we did have to swap in four vehicles for two to make the leap. But if you asked us then if we had three, and we did jump, jump, joke in a video years ago when we had something delivered by another fast track bit of kit, that it'd be awesome when we had three. Well, now we have three. 
So obviously mine, big boss man's, HRS's. So as many of you that watch the channel uh, will, have, will know, we didn't get on with the CVT gearbox in the New Holland Blue Power for basically the terrain that we run. And like if I flash around, everything around here is like quite steep and undulating and it didn't work and do what we wanted to do. So we basically made a decision that we wanted to change it. So we approached JCB to change one and then we got quite a good deal, didn't we? It was a really good deal. So we ended up changing three. Yeah. So between beers and JCB, they did us fantastic. fantastic. And fantastic you, couldn't, you couldn't say no. You just couldn't say no to it. So. No. So that's why we changed three at the same time. It wasn't a plan because the two that we had yeah. would actually still be here till next year. And if in our usual yeah, change yeah. plan, okay. And if you went to the Southwest Machinery Show in Exeter on Beers' stand, you would have actually saw that one. And, and some of you may have sat in it. Yeah, and a lot of people are asking, is this 18 CV? And a lot of people did deny it. Yep. But now we can actually say, no, that is our tractor, and it was on the stand for the show. And then if you've been in that cab, keep clean the comments, whatever you got up and it, like, got yeah, up Yeah, I don't want to know. That. We don't want to know. Especially the kids with their grubby little fingers was in there, I was <laughs> cleaning it. So deep down, we are pretty grateful to be in the yeah, position we are. Massively. To have got this far. Obviously grateful, and this don't come with the fact that we, we do bust our guts. Everyone does. On, uh, in, on their individual operations. We bust a gut on our operation and this is what we've decided is the right move in a forward direction for us. Yeah. So, you want to take them for a tour on the outside? Yes, so come along. <laughs> so let's take a look at the couple of changes <laughs> on the exterior of the tractor. It is exactly the same, basically. The only thing that's different is yellow grab handles, and if you come over here and look at the doors, the doors now have been squared off with a different latching system inside the cab. So now that gives you a, a tighter seal. Uh, something else with the door that the reason they had to do this and sort this out, we actually had a few doors explode on it us, was, didn't they? It was common on the other cab, yeah. very common. Uh, you had one on a road, main road. <laughs> yeah, that was fun. I had one whilst mowing, that was interesting as well. But no, it gives it a tighter seal and the actual cab itself now is a lot quieter. I've noticed a massive difference on that. Same thing that we do is we like to have the black top of the bonnet. We personally think it looks a little bit smarter. Yeah. Not that this, we're having to go at JCB's um, no, design team. No, it's like, just like it black. Yeah, we <laughs> just like it black. Small little features is they've now put the color code of the front spools pink, when it used to be yellow. <coughs> As everyone knows, we went a long time ago, gone away from mirrors. We have cab cams and we have cab cams on the back of the big Telian as well to look at hitches because JCB don't have push out hitch. But with a camera, which links straight up to your new screen, <coughs> we, we prefer these. And the plug is located there. So the reason why I'm saying there's a plug located there, the old cab cams which link to the tray were Bluetooth, now we've got them all wired in, which you did the other day, didn't you, sir? Yes, I did. Very good job it was, if I say so myself. Yeah. But we just didn't, hadn't shown you that bit no. yet. We've obviously got deck trays on all of them. Yep. For what we do, we just have the plastic tray. One, you can put stuff in the, in the deck tray. And two, we don't need a deck weight. We've had it, we've had it on our other fast tracks. Didn't need them. And now with the stage five, you've got heavier axles anyway. So, the weight of your tractor has just suddenly considerably gone up a few hundred um, kilos. So yeah, not needed for what we do. Yeah, a deck, a deck, they're the same weight or a tad heavier with these bigger axles with the deck weight that we had on the very first ones, that if you put a deck weight on them now, they're going to be half a ton yeah, and, and heavier not, the wrong way. And we're not doing the heavy cultivation work. Well, it's not a half a ton, is it? It's 900 kilos. 900 that kilos, yeah. yeah. So you know, you're, just, you're just traveling around with 900, 900 kilos on yeah. there. Yeah, and that, that will kills on fuel yeah as you can currently see mine is already pretty dirtied up uh big boss man's hasn't overly been used yet but ty ty is getting a bit upset that it's not done anything and hrs is is not quite as dirty as mine because i cleaned it what straight afterwards 
Yeah, after I did dung for a day, yeah. <laughs> I obviously and evidently didn't. Because it's brand new, we'll get in big boss man's because it's clean. And obviously still got its cardboard down. And that there is a floor carpet, which we're not gonna put out because especially at the moment, it just keeps raining. Dang, I was lit. So, here's a new Icon cab, if you haven't seen one. One of the biggest improvements is that monitor and then obviously that monitor as well. There's now two joysticks. We'll get through lots of this in a second. Yep. Differences from me before Ad starts talking is up there now there used to be a load of stuff there that's gone. Just a radio, four speakers in the cab. The pillar has been taken out below that dial next to the bay thing. So there used to be a pillar going all the way down to the handbrake. That little orange panel is now the new handbrake. That pillar there from top to bottom is basically as much as what is actually the same in the cab from the last ones. And then if I zoom back and let Ad start talking, everything else is pretty much no. So everything you see now is within touching distance of your hands. So on the old one, we'll put a clip in of the how the old one actually looked. So have we got one? Yeah. Yes, we have. Thank okay. you. Do you have to interrupt me then? I'm, I'm, on right. a, I'm on a roll. All right. So the PTO was PTO switches were always over here. Uh, radio and everything obviously is up here, but you don't actually have to touch the radio anymore. All your climate control was up here. But now everything is down here within touching on your fingers, all your spools. 85% of the tractor you can now assign to this screen. So anything, any, and I mean pretty much anything, you can assign to these joysticks. Uh, every button you can assign to. You've got your cruise controls, you've got... Um, so something, something on the uh, cruise controls, you can now drive everything on the pedal, or you can drive everything on the stick by using the stick yep. forward and backwards to slow down, or you can even go. Or if you knock it to the knock it to the right, <laughs> right. you can even use your, your Little... scroll, which is on like a detent switch. Yeah. So you can go straight all the way up and straight all the way down. So if you're beside a forager, a combine, it'd be really handy for that. Where you've got to go a specific s speed, and your tractors, you know, you're not all over the place on the throttle or whatever. You don't have to use a throttle. The yeah. tractor will do everything that you want it to do. Yeah. But it's a massive, massive improvement, a huge improvement. You've got, <coughs> so as Justin said, the pillar has been removed. The, the point of that is, so you can swing your seat around with the screen still intact. So I think it's about 50 degrees to the right. So that obviously doesn't hit anything. And then 20 or 30 degrees to the left. But that screen is totally movable. You can have it over here, like so, here, or wherever you want it. So as you move your arm, uh, the spools here, which are all lit up, those can all be changed and assigned different colors through so, the monitor. But so we're not gonna talk about the monitor. We're gonna go through the monitor in its own video yeah. because there's there's so much there's so much to do. And, and it's easier when you're driving it as well. It's easier when you're driving it. And as we start setting up machines to the fast yeah. tracks, we thought we would assign each machine and as we assign each machine to our fast tracks we'll put that in videos yeah. because it won't take up huge amounts of time for us in each video so we can stick that in so every time we put yeah. on or assign a new job list onto each of the computers whether it's mowing dung spreading trailers anything we can go through it all with you then okay something else has changed the seats the seats now have gone to more of a breathable material with pleather which is on a, the side. Which is a lot better for the summer days if you're wearing shorts because yeah. the leather would stick to you, you would sweat. <laughs> so now this seat now is heated and is also ventilated as well. So with a clip, you know, just a flick of a switch, you'll be nice and cold in the summer and nice and warm in the winter. So yeah, it's another good idea. Same fridge underneath the, the seat. Voila another big change inside of the cab as well which is nothing but it is a big change they've actually trimmed up everything now so behind you all is all plastic this was all exposed before it's just the frame of the cab it was just like 
So now the trim comes up to the window here now, on the front here now. So what, what he's on about is all, all trimmed. Right. But there's a downside to this, not for any of you that go and buy a JCB fast track, it's just basically me and him, is on these pillars when they're all black metal, that's where we put our magnet mounts to hold the camera when we're filming stuff. That's why we cut a, I've got a hole in them. <laughs> that's pointless putting them on then, isn't it? Take them off. Nice little extra is all the radio and phone operations are also down by your hand. So you don't actually have to go looking for it up there, which is just something just a little bit safer. Nice little bit of fast track logo there. So now there's this whole control panel's not there. No, which I quite like this actually. You've got more space for a nice, put your drink in there, nice little cubby hole here. And then you've got two USB charging points, which I absolutely love. And obviously just your normal 12 volt cigarette lighter. But when the cup holder used to be here, yeah. and you used to have to try and push your arm down through yeah. around to try and get to it, to get it out. It was a bit of a lottery. <laughs> whether, it went, whether it went in or not. Or, or if it went it, everywhere. Yeah, or it went everywhere. It usually went everywhere. But you're trying to do this as you're driving as well. Yeah. So that's, that's been made a bit better. And it's way easier to get your cup in there. And it also grips really well. Yes, yeah, Being that good. little yeah. sort of rubber assemble. And down there are all the plug-in points for computers and other electronic parts. You know, electronic controls which used to be on basically where that plastic panel is there. And they've just moved it over to the side out of the way. So yeah, 18 TV has gone way deeper into the yellow. Yeah. Uh, the good thing is British. Yeah, and it is British. British built, British, British sold. built, British sold. Yep. Uh, we can say we back British. Which we can, because we yep. have a lot of JCBs now. We have a lot of JCBs yeah. now. Uh, Adam's even more patriotic than anyone else because yep. he's got flags all over it. Even though they're black and yellow. Love black and yellow, black and yellow. Love my country, mate. Love your country? Yep. Yeah. No one else does at the moment. Cat please everyone. No, we can't, <laughs> can we? This time, all three fast tracks have got full front PTO. All of them. Because yours didn't have it last time. No. No, um, it, just, it just covered on this time. It's yeah. not part of the deal. Yeah. This, Which this, is handy as hell because I can go off top in now instead yeah. of using another tractor. So we got obviously got the dual toppers and if there is a fault with one we've got There's backups no now for mowers and yeah, it's not it's not else. all a stupid idea why we've got a third one it does all make sense and yeah. if it does happen we've got a, we've got a spare one now for road work field work whatever but other than that thank you guys for watching if you haven't yet done so please subscribe give us a thumbs up that'd be much appreciated if you want to find any more of us you can find us on snapchat instagram youtube and twitter we'll see you in the next one cheers <laughs>